and welcome in everybody glad you're with us MLB the show with a good one coming at you it's the Baltimore Orioles taking on the Seattle Mariners and now all right we'll be back to get this one started after this just about to get underway and today on the hill George Kirby but Chris he hasn't exactly been stellar here on his home mound well I'll say this every player wants to perform well at their home ballpark in front of their fans in front of the city and you know this guy no different he wants to be more effective here so you know you look at the numbers they haven't been great at home I'm sure he wants to turn that around and we'll see if he's able to start that in this one up the middle to first two down well, Boog, we talk about how the ball is coming out of a pitcher's hand. The way it comes out of his hand as an infielder. Wow, really. Runner first with two away. Here's the shortstop at the play. Marco Mendoza, the leading home run hitter in the American League. Get your pitcher giant. Let's go, big guy. Good spot. And that oh, no. one almost got him. Here we go, baby. Find a good pitch. That misses. Ball. Two balls, no strikes to count. Two Arroyo out. off of first with two away. Come on, big guy. One time. Here we go. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. Here's Alex Verdugo. Oh, and two now. On the ground to third. Urias zips it across. Third out. Mariners come up empty in their first try through an inning in Seattle. No score. And now for Seattle, Marco Mendoza. He was the big part of the field last time. Nice liner to center. Now look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. Mendoza, in his third season, batting in the cleanup spot. He's a former American League MVP. In the air, left field. Well, under it. And there's one away. So one out with two aboard. Nate Hale, the next to hit for the Orioles. One for two. Grounder might be two. Arroyo to second. That's one. Double play. What a twin killing to end the inning. Nothing across on two base hits. No errors and one left on. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Orioles four and the. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Marco Mendoza. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. All right, one time right here. Check swing, tried to hold up. Now it appealed to third. No swing. Eric Summers kill with the call. One down, base is empty. Fouls one off. Two and two. Hey, let her rip right here. And the right hander deals. That just misses. And it's a full count. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Got him. Two gone. And next for the Orioles, Colton Kowser. Right 
swing and a ground ball out to short Mendoza fires the first on the run and that is that back in Seattle now the left fielder Toby Welp bounce to third oh great stop fires to first and that's a great play for the out third corner that's a perfect example though there's no way he gloves that one if he's not dialed in anticipating something and the batter will be the shortstop Marco Mendoza one for three the pitch fought off foul well, these Mariners putting together some really good at bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. The numbers help tell the story. I mean, they've been sitting fastball and it's that paying hits, off in a big ball. way so far with six hits ball, against that pitch right. alone. And here it comes. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Alex Verdugo digs in now. Hey, no one better, huh? The one two. Out there to center. Mullins settles under it. Makes the catch. And there's one down. Up next is Seattle. One gone runner at first. Reese Hoskins up next for the Mariners. Hey, on, right now. Here's the pitch. Runner on the goal. Out to short. Gets it to first. No chance at the double play with the runner in motion. Austin Meadows now. Swing and a ball popped up. Hale moving under this one. And that'll do it. So no run. Sometimes it takes just getting away from home. Guys can sort of come together, connect a little bit more than they do when they're at home with their families. And that can breed to success on the field, as we saw in this game today. Excellent win by this team. 5-1 is how it ends as the Orioles win this one for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. Today, the finale of this three-game weekend set it's the Baltimore Orioles taking on the Seattle Mariners. First pitch coming your way next. Batting so up next, hey, Marco Mendoza Marco. leading the American League in homers coming into this one, having a monster season. Henderson, there's one on a Mount Castle. God, it's a man. double play. Felt a very fast developing play right there. No margin for error. Nice double play on a fast run. Toby Welk, the next to hit for the Orioles. Toby Welk. The pitch. Out to short. Mendoza. They get the force. That's the third out. Orioles strand a couple. They trail the heat. One down. Runner at first. Marco Mendoza will hit next. He's over one. Well, look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. Syndergaard to throw over. Hey. Anderson dives back. Come on, baby. See in the air right center field this is demolished way back and gone the two-run shot his 57th homer of the season and they throw a pair on the board it's four nothing Good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. So two down and no stepping in for the Mariners, Marco Mendoza. He's already homered here in this one. 
he's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. First pitch That's doesn't the find the zone. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, it will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. On the ground, right side. Tosses to first, and that is the inning. Offense held in check there. First and second, now two bad. down. And up next for Seattle, Marco Mendoza. He's already homered in this game. You talk about the power and the speed together. Well, we knew he was going to be a stud just coming up, making his way through the minor leagues, and quickly at this level, an impact player. And open your friend, let fly one time. And the first pitch the misses ball. for ball one. Looking for some insurance. Or as our friends down in the South would say. Insurance. No matter how you say it, we know what you mean. Swing and a miss. I don't hear the difference when they're saying that insurance well, That's today's bullshit. style of baseball right there, right? Big time velo on the bumps and big time years. pop at the plate. With some new commentary. And it is two and one. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. The 2 1. In the air, right field. Pretty well struck. Back there. Gone. He leaves the yard to right, and they throw three on the board. It's 7 1. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spent on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient, and it paid off. One down. Here's Ryan Mountcastle. Picked up an RBI in his last at bat. Still their only run of the game so far. And a one-two. Two, Ground ball two, could two, be two. two. There's one. Double play. And that'll do it for the inning. This one pretty well decided at this point. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. It's the Mariners seven and the Orioles one. Well, these guys just want to keep it rolling right now. You win this series, you got another team coming in, and you want to do exactly the same. Maybe even push a little further, get yourself a sweep. You know the fans are going to be behind this club. They've been playing really well, and these guys, you can tell they feel the energy these fans bring to the ballpark. 7-2 your final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew, I'm John Chambi saying so long from T-Mobile Park in Seattle. Our final life for this afternoon. He's continuing to knock the ball out of the park at an astonishing rate. 57 home runs on the season. That puts him past the likes of Hack Wilson, Mickey Mantle, and even our next guest, Ken Griffey Jr. Ken, 57 home runs on the season. What does that tell you about the type of year he's been having? He's having a tremendous season from start to finish. I mean, you can't take away the, the numbers. I mean, that's the, the thing is 57 home runs, and we still got some time to go. So, you know, he's going to finish up strong. Hopefully he finishes up strong and, and, and see where it, land, and where it ends. Get out.
Live from Oakland, California, in the Bay Area. Labor Day baseball coming up on the show. It's the Seattle Mariners going up against the Oakland Athletics. John Shambi alongside Chris Singleton and Singy the big bat in the lineup so far this year. Max Muncy leads the team at OPS, so he's the guy that looks to slug and basically make things happen for them offensively. Just a machine in terms of production at the plate. He'll take his walks, he'll barrel up the baseball, hit the ball in the gap so hit the ball over the fence so talk about a guy going good that's him right now and he's a bat that you want to stay away from if you're the pitcher just about set to go and pitching in this game Ryan Cusick the last time out he's only able to complete four innings but really battled didn't have his best stuff I look for him to be better in this one that so two hurt. down and Virginia. now for Seattle, Marco, Marco. Mendoza. Mendoza. That's in there. And that is strike no one. That's down and in. Here we go. In the dirt. In plenty of time to first. And that is that. And stepping in for the Mariners, Marco Mendoza. First offering misses the mark. Mendoza in his third season. Hitting third in the lineup. Can't forget to mention he's a former MVP. So two balls and no strikes. He's been raking in recent games, and a big reason why, getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently, and you see the results. That's in for a strike. Oh, you just got to tip your cap on that take right there. I mean, that's not the location you're hoping for and looking to do damage in a 2-0 count. One down, base is empty. That clips the corner. Two strikes to a guy who's already 0 for 1 with the punch out. The only guy in the lineup with that strikeout. But you can't get too relaxed. You still got to make good pitches to get him out. The next offering misses. Counts full 3 and 2. Swing and a ball hammered. Left field. That's back there. And it hits the fence. Safely into second. He's got a double. Well, oh, that'll make you feel good as a hitter yeah, right there. So the close to blasting that one out of here the other oh, way. But well, that's very tough to do when you take on the outfield gap like that. Beautiful swing, though. Let the ball get a little deep and drove it to the opposite field. Man, it's second with one away. And here's the first baseman, Reese Hoskins. See it, drive it like you can. Come on. 
on the ground. Camargo throws to first, and they got him. Man in scoring position with two away. Here's Alex Verdugo, Alex. and he's already Verdugo. singled in this game. And the pitch. This to third. Whips it across, and the inning is over. Striding to the plate now for Oakland, Jordan Diaz. The 1-1. One -one. Smash to the left side. Over to first, and there's two down. Now batting, catcher, Shea. Man at first, and now Marco Mendoza, Marco. one for two. Mendoza. And first offering is fouled off. At the belt and fires. Swing and a miss. And that is strike two. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. Arroyo gets his lead at first with nobody out. Your pitch, drive it deep, huh? Here you go. Up and in. It's a ball and two strikes. It's a good take. Pitch misses, two and two. The idea was right, looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. Come on now, one pitch, right here. Next one misses, and it's three and two. Reese Hoskins waits on deck. Three and two now. Ground ball up the middle. Dives and he can't hang on. He decides to hold on to it, and that leaves them with runners at first and second. The first baseman, Reese Hoskins. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. First and second here, no outs. Out towards right center field. Butler turns, moving to his left. Got it! Nice grab. Runner tags up for third. Well, those can be pretty fun as an outfielder. Got to put it into his highest gear and go a long way to track that one down. Nothing better than that. You feel like a wide receiver playing football. Here's the left fielder, Alex Verdugo. Throw over to first. Mendoza back on a dive. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boob. One, two. Going, going, Runner on the go. Squirts away from Langoliers. Blocked by the catcher, and he steals second base without a throw. Runner at second here, one gone. Cusick checks the runner, and he dives back in safely. Another throw to second, and yeah, they're hey. keeping him close. Runner on the go again, and he grounds one to the right side. Lugo tosses to first, and Verdugo is set down. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll yeah, over. The right fielder. So a runner at third, two men out. Now it's Austin Meadows. He's 0 for 1. Deal one. In the air, right field, Gomez. Ranging back. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And that. And welcome back. And the batter now, Moises Gomez. The right fielder. Moises. Ray, back to work. Bounce to the left side. Mendoza. Sends it across to first. One up, one down. And up next for Seattle, Marco Mendoza. Fan, huh? 
Swings and misses. That's strike one. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. The tying run at the plate. And it's one and one. Kicks and fires. And another ball. Hit on the ground to the right side. Fair ball. The first base is number 17. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. One for three. The going. kick in the pitch. Runner goes. Popped up. Lugo has a beat on it. He's got it. And that is the third out of the... Base is empty one away. Marco Mendoza up next for the Mariners. Jackson in his fourth year, 30 years old now, and he was a third-round pick back in 2016. And there's the strike. You know, this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind if he can get on it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about and now the 1 and delivers outside the 1-1 one, one. and that's outside Good eye right there. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. The 3-1. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Come on now, rip. 3-2. Tapped out in front of the plate. Bare hand grab. He is safe. Boogie doesn't care how he does it. He just wants to get on base. And when he does, that puts him in a position to do some damage, put some pressure on the defense as well. His wheels are truly a weapon out there. Stepping in, Reese Hoskins. Going with pretty good speed over there at first base. I think the pitcher's got to slow everything down. Hold the ball a little bit, step off, just try to break the rhythm and timing of a potential base dealer. The kick in the pitch. Runner goes. Strike in there. Throw there. Safe. Chris, his wheels were the difference maker on that play. Just got in there. Yeah, with StatCast's help, we see his top speed on this stolen base, and that's a big number. I mean, man. He really made his athleticism work for him on that one. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Mendoza headed for the plate. He'll score and they've tied it. It's four to four. And his hot hitting continues. They kept him in the yard that time, but all he's doing now is passing the baton, and everything seems to get started around this guy. Back here in the East Bay. We're in extras here. Now it's the shortstop, Marco Mendoza. Man at second, nobody out. Chris, certainly one of the things in his head is trying to get the runner over. Yeah, the way that we see the game played today, though, guys are not sacrificing as much just to get that runner across. They're really looking at doing damage. Slugging is the name of the game. And that one just missed off the outside edge. This one lifted in the air, left field. Nakajima gets there. He's under it. Makes the grab. And there's one down. 
One out, runner at second. Max Muncie up next for the A's. The one two. On the ground to short, Mendoza. And there are two outs. Yeah, I'm looking at his body language, and he just doesn't seem it. like things are in sync. And the ball's just not coming off his bat the way it did earlier in the regular season. Here now is our final line score tonight. First for the victorious athletics, seven runs on... And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. The show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the Seattle Mariners going up against the Oakland Athletics. First pitch coming your way next. Oakland. And now for Seattle, Marco Mendoza coming off a four-hit effort in yesterday's game. Ground ball right side could be two. On to first, and that is out number two. Marco Mendoza up next for the Mariners. 0 for 1 so far. Singy, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on How and off the it? field. And makes the play, and that's out number three. One out, one out. Tyler Soderstrom up next for the A's. One down, base is empty. On the ground to the left, Mendoza. Gets the catcher by a step. Talk about being able to dial up the velocity. That first baseman over Not there might need a little her. pad Deep inside draw. that first baseman's mitt. Welcome back. All set the for the start of the inning. The Here's a speed threat. Marco, Marco. Mendoza. Mendoza. File. Back to work. And ball one. Mendoza measures six feet four inches, 230 pounds, and he took home the silver slugger last year in the American League. Right-hander kicks deals. And that's in for a strike. A one-two count. All he's seen is fastballs. You've got to expect something off speed. Stay back. Righty delivers. Fouls it off. Still one and two. And that one hit to first, and he grabs it in foul ground. And a ball in two strikes. That one missed. Well, he might have to look for a different put-away pitch right here, 2-2. Two, two. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at-bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. Still 2-2 two and two after the foul ball. In the air, left side, Lede. As this one sized up, brings it in, one up, one down. So first and second with two outs. And now it's going to be Marco Mendoza. Let her rip right here, let's go. And there's a foul ball. Anderson, the lead runner out at second. Arroyo at first, two out of the inning. And a bunt towards third. And it's just foul. That was close. Right-handed reliever. Caught him. Oh, the A couple of runs in the inning puts him ahead. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. It's the Mariners four and the A's two.
So bases loaded with one away. Tyler Soderstrom up next for the A's. He's already homered here in this one. Roll to short, could be two. To second, there's one. What a double play that was. Inning over. Just trying to sneak one through with the bases loaded, but an excellent job by the defense to turn that one and get out of this jam. Marco Mendoza up next for the Mariners. Went down looking on three pitches last time. Let's see if he can be a little more aggressive right here. Swings. Through that one. 0-1. Oh, well, strike one is so critical in a bat like this with a real threat at the plate looking to do damage. That misses. Oh, a ball bad. once strike. Yeah, there's a ball. Next offering misses. Now three and one. Good pitchers make pitches in big situations. And right here with a middle of the order hitter up, runner in scoring position, he's got to find a way to throw a quality strike. Three one is on the way. Bounce to the right side. Sneaks through. Base hit. The throw in. It's off the mark, and he scores. And they're up by four. And into second with one away. That's a double. Julio Rodriguez. One out, runner at second. And now it's Julio Rodriguez. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Man at second here with two away. Now the left fielder, Alex Verdugo. Here comes a pitch. Out to short, Hernaez. Fires over to first. Inning over and it could. First and second, two down. Tyler Soderstrom up next for the A's. He's already homered in this game. The tying run at the plate. Lined, and that's a base hit. Around third. Candelario with a relay home. Not in time. He's safe as a run scores on the play. Well done. Drives in the run. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy. Didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep. Took the barrel right to it and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Well, a three pitch save. This guy might feel cheated a little bit. Gets in the ball game. Wants to show off his arsenal and really didn't get that opportunity. But I think he'll take it. Whenever you can get that save and do it efficiently, he'll be ready to pitch tomorrow. For the Athletics, four runs on dead hit. One error and 11 runners left on base. Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. An AOS matchup on the show. BRB.
Joe. It's the Seattle Mariners going up against the Oakland Athletics. First pitch coming at you right after the break. And now, your 2025 Oakland Athletics. Just about ready to roll. And today's starting pitcher, Will Gibson. And Singy, it's unique these days, but he's more of a pitch-to-contact type of guy. Yeah, Boogie doesn't rely too heavily on the strikeout. He knows he needs to miss barrels, get some soft contact, let the defense do work behind him. And I think a guy like that Adam can Burr. keep a good tempo, don't give hitters time Marco. to adjust or think. Mendoza. They can move through a ball game, and you look up, they're in line for a quality start. We'll see what he's got in this one. Marco Mendoza, the next to hit, takes ball one. The 1 0. To third. Not in time, and he reaches safely. Well, that's one of those where you just have to tip your cap because he couldn't have played that one any better. Stood no chance with the speed running down the line. And at first, and now it's Julio Rodriguez. Two homers in the game yesterday, so he's feeling good coming in. Can't connect on the curveball, struck him out. Man, I really like the ability to bounce back right there after not getting a call. He probably should have gotten it. Didn't let it affect his focus. And he came back with another good pitch to get him swinging. Still only one out here in the inning. Swing and he breaks his bat. Picks it up with a bare hand and very nicely done for the out. Well, that actually works out for the hitter. If it's not a broken bat, it's hit hard enough for a double play. But with the slower roller, defense does a nice job at least getting one out of it. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. Homered in the ball game yesterday afternoon. And the pitch earlier in this inning, not pitching as aggressively here. Next pitch misses, and now three and zero. Oh. Austin Meadows waiting for a turn at the plate. Runner at second, two down. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Bell just came apart right there. Four pitch walk and seven. guy at the play was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. So two down. Now it's Austin Meadows. So RBI spot. But Chris, this is a guy that is not really swinging the bat all that well here. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get swings and misses and record a strikeout. I think you attack him in this spot. And they're all loaded up. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. And here's the catcher, Harry Ford. Taken high in the draft. He's had that top prospect labeled over him since he put on a professional uniform. But at some point, that starts to go away, and you've got to produce at the big league level. To the right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Two runs in the inning, but they strand three. On to the bottom of the first. It's the Mariners two and the Athletics coming to bat. Now at the plate, now Marco Mendoza. The reached on an infield Marco. single his first time. Mendoza. This kid is so special. He's a shortstop by trade and big time power. Come on, let it fly right here. Misses outside, 1-0. Oh. Oh. 
This guy absolutely flies. The defense wants to turn two, but they've got right to get a ball they can do it with. Make sure you get the first out before you try to rush and get two and end up with nothing. Gibson throws over. Anderson dives back. Anderson, the base runner at first with one out. Grounded to third, could be two. Garcia to second, on to first, double play. And that's the inning. One run on two hits, no errors, and nobody left on. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the Mariners three and the A's nothing. Dermis Garcia up next for the, the A's. Third baseman. Derby. Garcia. Hey, one away. One away. Out to short. Mendoza. Now a jump throw. Awesome play there. Batting eight. The right fielder. Man, Chris, a jump throw like that is certainly worthy of the stack cast treatment. Let's see what the numbers have to say about it. Yeah, these are some favorable numbers, Boog. This is the type of play that showcases his arm strength. I mean, he made it look easy, but I promise you, that's not a throw every shortstop can make, especially with... Now Stepping in, shortstop. the slugging shortstop, Marco, Marco Mendoza. Mendoza. One for two. And first offering is fouled off. Ah. And that's in for a strike. Runner at second, nobody out. Ground ball to the right side. Diaz oh. takes it himself. One away here in the fifth. The center fielder, number 44. Here's the left fielder, Frederick Nakajima. Oh, Luis Castillo, oh, a guy who debuted in 2017 with the Reds at 24 years old. Multiple all-star appearances. Traded to the Mariners at the deadline in 2022. You think about that triple-digit fastball, but the changeup is the thing that stands out. Yeah, and you could argue that he's got the best changeup in baseball. From the right That's side, good. it's like a Bugs That's Bunny good. pitch and works so Lead well go. off of his fastball. A potential double play ball hits the top of inning number seven. And now, Marco Mendoza. Mendoza. And a strike. Well, these Mariners doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. Despite having nine hits in the game, the numbers don't exactly jump off the page in terms of exit velocity. Nearly half have been traveling less than 90 miles per hour off the bat, but they're finding a way to get it done. Next pitch downstairs, and a count one and one, two. two. Next pitch off the play, and that's ball two. And the righty deals. He goes down looking. Ball just ripped a pick. And stepping in for the Mariners, Marco Mendoza. So clutch, you could argue that he's been this team's MVP this year. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Nakajima on the run to the right, and he can't quite get there. It's a foul ball. Ball to strike. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. One runs in. Now a long throw home. But it's offline. And they're up by three. 
His confidence level is so high. Really nice job of coming through in a big spot. Wasn't able to elevate that one, but he sure hit it hard enough to get through the infield. There's not a whole lot of time for the defenders to react and try to make a play when it's ripped like that. And now it's the cleanup hitter for the Mariners. Julio Rodriguez. One for three. Ground ball left side. And it finds its way through for a hit. Nakajima to third. Not in time. He's safe. Back-to-back -back base hits. That pretty much split the zone down the middle. And those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Verdugo. Runners on the corners with one gone. Here's Alex Verdugo. Hey, we need you right here. Here you go now. High fly ball, right field. Butler on his way over. Makes a nice run and catch. Runner tagging and heading for home. He'll score in the sack fly, and the lead is up to now five. Down. In that situation, you're looking to get something up in the zone that you can put in the air. Worst case scenario, a sacrifice fly. Now, now it's the second, second baseman, base. William Lugo. William. Lugo. One down, base is empty. Popped up. Mendoza should have this one. He's got it, and there's two away. Now batting, left fielder, Frederick Nakajima. This was a huge win to take this series on the road before heading back home. You go home feeling good about yourselves. You've got some good momentum, but at home you also have a higher expectation to play well. So they're going to have to maintain the focus because those fans are expecting a lot. 9-4, our final score for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon. Our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Seattle Mariners, nine runs on 15 hits. One error, they left 17 runners on base. For the Athletics, four runs, 13 hits. No errors, they left 20 runners on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 38 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please Drive home safely.
Center here in Seattle. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Colorado Rockies taking on the Seattle Mariners. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Almost ready to get underway. Getting the nod on the mound, George Kirby. Well, he tried to make it through the fifth inning last time out, but the pitch count just got too high. He ended up taking the loss. That's one of those you just have to shake it off, come back out today, and try to throw a gym. Back here at the ballpark, ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now the shortstop, Marco Mendoza. He's a guy who does it all. With the lack of contact in today's game, this guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging, too. And that one in the air, center field. Number 16 under it. Squeezes it. And there's one away. Batting fifth. So digging in, David Ford grounded out his first time. That's through. Oh, the throw is wild. What the fuck was that? Really nice job staying up the middle with his out of the fourth and now the center fielder number 16 Bounced out to short no And it's scored position with two away no, stop. Stepping in the Marco. long ball threat Marco Mendoza, Mendoza. Flight out to center in his first at bat Swing and a miss and it's 0 and 1. Something I'm noticing in this one is that these guys are aggressive early in the count. It makes you wonder if that was talked about in the hitters meeting before this game started. Hey, see, he's the guy, what do you say? Center field. Number 16 settles underneath it. He's there. He's got it. And that is that. And up next for Seattle, Mark. Foul ball. Righty to the plate. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Number 16, under it. Uh, yeah. He's got it. And that is out number three. Two outs, base is empty. So now it's the Mariner no cleanup batter, hitter, Marco Mendoza. Marco Mendoza. Let's go now, one time. That ah. one's in there, 0 and 1. And he deals. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul. foul ball. Going two now. Good eye right there. Looking very settled on the mound here in the eighth. One more out. They'll probably hand it off to their closer for the ninth with at least a two run lead. Two outs. That's a little bit low. It's a good take. Come on, guy. Get your pitch up there. On the ground, right side. Whips it to first. Out. Inning over. Ryan McMahon steps to the plate. He's already homered here in this one. Ripped to short. Gathers and throws to first. Third out. A 5 3 final score in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long. From the home of the Mariners.
Now it's the right fielder, Zach Veen. The right fielder, Zach Veen. Left hand hitter waits. On the ground, could be two. Fires to second for one. On to Hoskins. Double play. I think four, six, three double plays like that. Are... Marco Mendoza up next for the Mariners. Right now, the leading RBI man in the American League. He's been huge this season. First offering, runner goes. And a foul ball. Anderson off of first with two away. Next That's one off the plate inside. And that is ball one. Step off throw to first. Anderson dives back. Let's go, big fella. The 1-1. And a foul ball. Hey, let's go, kid. What's up, man? That's oh. off the mark. Two balls, two strikes. Let's go, kid. One time right here. To the right side. Slings to first. That's the inning. No runs. One out, base is empty. And now Jalen Miller glide out his first time. Swing at a slow roller. Mendoza. Fires across the diamond. Out Up number two. Colorado. The catcher. Back at T-Mobile Park, bottom of the inning at the play. Marco Mendoza and a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Well, these Mariners just haven't produced as many competitive at-bats as I'd like to see in this one. They're swinging early, being aggressive, but one or two pitches later, the at-bat is over. That's not going to cut it if it's not resulting in hits. So they might want to be a little more selective up there. And there's one down. Next to hit for the Rockies, David Ford, one for two. The 0 2. On the ground, two ball. On to second, they get one. On to Hoskins, double play. Ryan McMahon steps to the plate. When you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. Kicks and deals. Ground ball right side. What a stop. The feed for one. A sensational double play. Sometimes double plays get turned so quickly that you don't really get to appreciate all of the finer details and how these guys execute. Right there, really nice footwork, and a good feed to second was the key to pulling it off. And oh, welcome good. back. Bottom of the sixth oh, inning. Good. And now here is Marco Mendoza. And fouled off. I'm impressed by the number of first pitch strikes. He's not afraid of contact. Some guys, they'll nibble just because they don't want to get hit hard. That's not what we're seeing here. Right side, hard hit. Steps on first for the out. So now it's the four-hole hitter, Marco Mendoza. in there and it's on one late in the game everyone gets a little tighter hey, way to get on, ahead on a really good hitter right there now one and one the next pitch misses two and one That one is upstairs. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Reese Hoskins in the on-deck circle. The Y to kick the pitch. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Two down, nobody on. Good job to fight that one off.
Three two. And that one is lifted in the air. And it drops in. Love how he became a really tough out with two strikes right there. No Hooked around that pitch First on the outside, three. but he was still three. able to square it up pretty nicely. Oh, and that yeah. takes quick, strong wrist to pull that off. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Runner at first with two away. And now the first baseman, Reese Hoskins. Steel. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. And your final six to two for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us. Six runs on 13 hits. No errors. They left eight men on base. For the Mariners, two runs on eight hits. No errors. They left nine runners on base. Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. About to get started here, and towing the slab in this one, Robbie Ray. He's racked up over 2,000 strikeouts in his career. He's such a competitor out in the mound. So fun to watch him work. I'm excited for this one. Everything came together for him. Nice line drive to the... Digging in, Marco Mendoza. Hoping to lock up a home run title down the stretch. He leads the league right now. This one high in the air to left center. Bryant makes the catch, and that'll do it. Here's Chris Bryant now. Boo, Chris Bryant, a kid who accomplished a lot right away getting to the big leagues. Former number two overall pick, won the rookie of the year, was named the MVP in 2016, went in a World Series with the Cubs over a hundred year drought man you can't start your career much better than that back in Seattle ready to go bottom four now it's the power speed combo Marco Mendoza that one is absolutely belted that's got a chance and that one is gonna go he circles the bases, his 59th home run of the season. It's 1-1. He ambushed him right there, Siggy. Yeah, swinging on that first pitch, and I think losing one over the fence is exactly what he had in mind as well. Well, he went up there, oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he had his sight set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. Now, here is Marco Mendoza. He's already homered in this game. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. Hey, see it up and drive. Swing and a pop-up in foul ground. McMahon makes the play, and that will end the inning. So one out, nobody on. Chris Bryant digging in for the Rockies. One for three. On the ground, out to short. Fires over to Hoskins. Bryant out on the play. Base is empty with two away. Now it's going to be Marco Mendoza. He's already homered here in this one. And first offering is fouled off. And that one lifted in the air center field. Got it. Really had to move for that grab. This one ends the final 9-2. And the road team.
A skipper appeals to his players to demonstrate some resilience and how they finish a rough season. <laughs> 